Every landscape is unique in topography, climate, flora, and fauna. Likewise, each landscape requires different survival techniques. Survival in these mountains isn't the same as survival in the desert or on a tropical island. This landscape presents new opportunities as well as new challenges. On this adventure, I am wearing my usual cargo pants, deerskin cloak, and sandals. My minimalist tools include a calabash bottle gourd, which holds about 2 liters of water, about 100 feet of rope that I twisted myself, an Ontario Air Force survival knife, a bayite ferro rod for starting fires, 12 feet of hand twisted yucca cordage, some pieces of dry beef that I carry in my pocket in case food is difficult to find, and also some pumpkin seeds. Dry beef and seeds are a good nutrient dense food that are convenient and require no preparation. I'd like to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is a streaming service with thousands of documentaries and nonfiction titles on pretty much every subject you can imagine. Love cute animals? They got that. Want to learn more about quantum physics? Got you covered. Anything from the worlds of science, nature, history, society, and much more. I really like the documentaries about the history of food and how early man survived. Best thing is just $2.99 a month. Even better, if you get it for a whole year, it's just $20 for the entire year. And for my audience, you'll get 30 days free if you use promo code TARZAN at sign up. So click the link on the description below and check them out because CuriosityStream really helps to keep this channel going. Go to CuriosityStream.com for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and nonfiction series. And for my viewers, enter the promo code TARZAN when prompted during the sign-up process, and your membership is completely free for the first 30 days. I've never before been to this location, so I'm going to keep exploring and see what I find. After leaving the waterfall, I returned to this location with a rock wall because it seems like a good place to build a shelter.
I was happy to find yucca here. As many people know, yucca is one of my favorite plants and has so many uses. Another very useful botanical is the willow tree. Strips of the bark can be used for lashings or to make rope and even for medicinal purposes. I'm collecting branches to cover my shelter. California mugwort is a very aromatic plant that is native to the western United States. Native Americans use this plant medicinally to treat joint pain and headaches and to treat rashes such as those caused by poison oak. It is also known as dream plant. Natives would smoke it or drink a tea to make their dreams more vivid. The strong aroma of the leaves also repels insects, so I'm going to weave some of the branches into the wall of my shelter. 
I also used the branches of white alder to make the wall of my shelter. The warm summer nights make a fire hardly necessary, but it will help to repel insects and give me some morale boosting entertainment before I lie down to rest. I'm using a bundle of California mugwort as a pillow to help keep insects away from my face during the night. <laughs> 